first one second one so the B flat at the beginning of the second statement is what we call in music theory a neighbor chord and the thing with neighbor chords they're not really a shift to a new chord it's a little bit like bending a string on the guitar and this is how it sounds with chord C minor I'm bending the bass to D flat We start from the basic chord, we move to the neighbor, and then we come back home. And you know, the thing with the melody, it doesn't feel obligated to move just because the harmony went to the neighbor tone. And so when the harmony decides to pay a visit to the neighbor and the melody doesn't change anything, we have these charming clashes of sounds as a result. It's interesting because we are used to thinking that B flat, the triad, is the basic chord and everything else is a tension. But no, in this situation, the E is part of this particular B flat chord. One of the things that Pat Metheny has been doing in his music was to take the idea of this flat two neighbor a step further. Actually, the D flat sounds pretty good too, but the G flat does sound a little more mysterious. So you can experiment with that. If you're in B minor, for example, try going a half step up in the bass to the neighbor tone. In my last video about the way up by the name of uh, modular, what is modular composition, I explained how Pat Metheny and Lyle Mays extracted this three note motif out of the melody and developed it throughout the entire piece. 